Austin McBroom, YouTuber, boxer, former basketball player, and one of the internet's biggest scammers. Shoot, I need to edit that last part out of the script. Is back to try and beat a Nissan Gib. Austin McBroom is 1 0, beating the best social media boxer, Bryce Hall, who is 41 now. For 40 street fights, I do not get scared. Being a thing, I'm gonna feel threatened, and that is a threat. I'm sending this to my lawyer. If you come past this line, six feet, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Well, Self defense. I don't know why you're getting so mad. <laughs> I'm a Today I'm going to explain why Austin McBroom is a joke. I mean, is the best YouTube boxer. He claims that Nissan Gibb is lucky to get an opportunity to fight him, since you know Austin McBroom is 1 0 and is obviously better than KSI and Jake Paul. A Nissan Gibb has beat Max Plays by TKO, Jay Swingler by decision, Taylor Holder by decision, and only lost to the worst YouTube boxer, Jake Paul, by TKO. I can say after watching hours and hours of Austin McBroom footage, he will lose to Nissan Gibb. Crap, I need to reread that. After watching countless hours of Austin McBroom footage, he will beat a Nissan Gibb by KO. Austin McBroom has the best knockout power I've ever seen from a YouTube boxer. I mean, look at these punches. With, with over 40. Ah, oh, wrong clip. Playing the NBA. Well, it looked like he was going in there and he's doing more. Tell me he's not beating a Nissan Gibb. Gibb should be thanking Austin McBroom for giving an opportunity to fight him. Listen to Gibb talk like he's running the show. Listen, we're about 18 days away from the fight. I'm here to take out the CEO of Social Gloves. Once I've done that, I'm bouncing. I'm out. Listen to Austin McBroom spew out wisdom. More talk. We've been both chatting back and forth for now going on a year, like you mentioned. But to be honest, he was just someone that's in my way. Um, I feel like I'm giving him the opportunity. I really wanted KSI, KSI to come back and fight against Alex Wasabi, which, you know, hey, good for him. But, uh, you know, he's just someone that's in my way, and I'm going to show that July 30th. Austin is obviously the better boxer. He's four inches taller, faster, bigger, and he's the CEO of Social Globes, probably the most authentic and trustworthy boxing promotion organization to be ever be created in front of Showstar. Who do you all think will win this fight, Little Gibber or trustworthy, totally not a scammer and the best YouTube boxer, Austin Broom? Leave a like if you think Gibb will win, and a dislike if you think Austin McBroom will win. Subscribe if you think the real winners are the ones who are going to watch the fight without actually paying for it. Yeah, that's about it, everyone. The guy, though, I know he's going to work hard, bring it, but I just think he's, he's not on my level. He's not on my level. He's not on my level.